Stuart, wow. What a Six Nations match. It was, it was brilliant to watch. What was it like to play in and, and of course, obviously to get the win? Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty brutal out there. Um, pretty interesting stuff in the second half. It was pretty fleet flowing in the first, but uh, we grind them down and eventually we drew the score a wee bit. What was the difference between the teams? Uh, you, you, you guys play a lot of the rugby territory-wise, possession-wise. Did you feel that like you got on top of the French? Yeah, I felt like we probably were on top most of the game. Uh, they held a few balls up over the line, which probably uh, probably helped the score stay tight. And then when, they, when it's a tight game, they're always in it. They can score from anywhere. We saw that in the first half. How um, hard is it to play against a team when you're when you're doing, playing all the rugby, but you know that they can score from literally anywhere, as they did in that game? Yeah, it's, it's definitely energy sapping. Like, I think we were all over in the first half, and about the break, and the score went from 80 metres, and you're thinking, flip me, what's happening? But no, it was, uh, it was good. Like, we stuck in there, and we really grind them down. Uh, more importantly then for the context of this team, this was a big milestone wasn't it? It was the only team of Tier 1 nations that you hadn't beaten uh, under Andy. How significant is today's result? Yeah, I think we were just looking at it in the context of winning the Grand Slam, winning the Six Nations and getting five points. Um, listen, we're always hard to beat here so we, we expected to win but it knew it would be a tough game. So yeah, two top teams in the world going at it, that's, that's what you want to see. Brilliant shirt. Thanks very much. Cheers.